Hello everybody, this is part five and um, I've finished off with showing you the little butterflies I cut out of the, the paper stack, piece of paper, you know, that comes on the front and that's one of the butterflies, put one of the knots here to decorate the butterfly and I'm not sure whether I showed you the pocket so all I've done here is cut a piece of paper out, stitched around it and stuck it there because I quite liked these. So I've left that as it is for now, but I will go back to this. You know, that, that won't stay as is. So what we're gonna do today is, um, let's have a look. Yeah, I couldn't do any, sorry. I couldn't do any for the last couple of days because we have a uh, what's called a feast week and it's, it is actually a religious ceremony, but it's everybody parties in the village. Loads of people come on holiday here this week and there's things going on every day and like Sunday, it was all day and there's all bands playing all day and everything. It was it was just lovely. It was a lovely day and yesterday I had to take my daughter to um, the orthodontist because she broke her brace and then she has ballet Monday night so I didn't get anything done yesterday. So and it's Tuesday today so I thought I'd do a, a little quick video today just to keep you going. And um, we'll go from there. I won't be able to do anything tomorrow because I'm with my sisters. We're making um, hat, not hat pins, stick pins and some boho beads. And Tina is is um, coming over, is meeting us. I'm picking her up from the train station and we're going over to my sister's. So that should be a fun day. Thursday I'll be able to do something and nothing on Friday because my daughter's performing down west somewhere, doing her dance. So... I shall be there. So anyway, enough of that. That's what's been going on in my life anyway. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of um, decoupage on on here. So maybe, I quite like things on the corners for some reason. So I want to do some, put him there. And then I want some of this over here because the page isn't really about um, nature or anything. And because I didn't know how this would evolve, this journal, when I started it, but it has become quite naturey and very autumn -y. So I'm going with that theme. So anything that I feel that's not to do with autumn, I will sort of detract the eye away from it. So I thought I'd add some decoupage to that, which I'll do. I'll get my glue and everything and we'll start that. I've got all my blue glue back. Got all that ready. So... Let's get going. See, I'm rubbing my hands again. <laughs> Definitely a little habit of mine. I think it's a nervous habit, actually. <laughs> and, oh, I did buy a microphone. And it's one that you actually put into the little um, place where you usually put headphones. And I can only get it to work without the case on. Because the little bit won't go inside with the case on. So, I can't use it because I like my my iPad don't fit into my stand without the case on so I'm going to have to look at another one really one that's saying I don't know how they work normally no idea but I have tried it it works really well but because a few people said they couldn't hear me and some people said it's fine even one lady commented that she's got hearing problems and she actually said that she heard me fine so you know sometimes it is what you're listening on but I'm not saying that it's not quiet because I think it is or it has been so I've either got to literally start to speak up I have a very loud voice you see so I've sort of toned myself down a bit because my voice travels so I am being a bit careful when I speak because of that sorry I had to start concentrating <laughs> When I concentrate, I just go very quiet. So, I don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd try this little microphone. And yes, it is good. But like I said, I can't use it because my iPad doesn't fit in my stand. So, that's the reason why. So, we have to carry on, carry on as we're going because it will be another week or so before I get something else. And then I'll never get it done. So something to think about in the future right do that actually I usually in this situation in case 
you get wet behind it. I will put a bit of acetate again behind that so it doesn't, just in case it seeps through or anything like that. I'm actually going to get that off before so it's easier. Just pull that off. Because while it's wet, it's. You can, there we go. That's fine. Again, not acetate with heat, it will melt. A piece of card will be fine. Oh, did I not look? Sorry about that, I knocked the camera. There we go. Okay, that's that bit done. And then we'll put some of this fruit around. Yeah, that's fine. I will dry that bit there though, just in case, because we don't want to rip the paper, so I'll just give that a dry. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Because as you know, when paper is wet, it's a lot more fragile. So let's have a look. I want, so if I can split this up a little bit. I haven't got much of this left actually. It was such a lovely napkin. And it's sort of draping down really. Um, no, I'm going to put that like that. Yeah. So I'll just paint the glue on. Again, watered down glue for this. But I think it's two, yeah, two to one. So it's half and half. Just so it's not quite so sticky. I think it works better. Actually, I'm going to put that there. And then that one behind it. Because I want that in the corner. Like so. That's my card. Oh, it's still there. So I'm very forgetful at the moment as well because I'm so tired. It's, um, oh, I didn't realise because I have to have vitamin B12 every th three months. And they usually ring me up and say, oh, it's due, but they haven't. And I just thought, oh, you know what time just goes, doesn't it? And I'm six weeks overdue. And I said to my husband last night, I said, I don't know what's wrong with that. So I'm just so tired and I want to sleep. So I'm hoping it's that. So I don't really want the thyroxin and everything upped again. So And that's not like, I, I used to be like me, terror. I was terrible until they got my, my thyroid and everything sorted. I used to just fall asleep at the drop of a hat, but I've been really, really good for over 18 months now. And um, it was a bit of a shock. I know it was a long day on Sunday, but I usually get over it quicker than this. I'm just pulling a bit of that away because I want it so that it sort of fades into the paper a bit. Like that, that's it. So it's more natural looking. Like that, and what I do here, because it's slightly gone over the page, well that's wet, I'll just, just use a craft knife and get that. Not too much though. Oh, okay, that's gone. That's all right. Just stick that in like that. Yep, that's nice. And then dry that off. Okay, that was nice and dry. So I'm going to um, put my brush in some water. Put the top in that because that's fine for now. And I'm going to just use what I normally do, a little bit of tea stain. Put those back or so I have no room to work. It's funny how you work. You end up working in about six inches, don't you? Just a tiny bit around that. I think that sort of blends it into the page. Not too dark though. And then I'm going to 
here. So that's brought our autumn theme into that page now. Definitely. If you don't like these jagged edges, well, you can. I use nail files again. And I would just. I quite like them, but some people wouldn't. So. Just very gently. There we go. If you find, I mean, I'm, I actually, when I do tags and things, I like my decoupage, I actually don't like it that rough. I do prefer, I always sand it a little bit and then do another coat of Mod Podge on the top and then it gets a you know, very shiny feel to it. Plus it also ages and blends the decoupage into the page. So again, you know, that's now flatter. Because some people now, when they feel that, they go, is it decoupage? Because they can't feel it. It's, um, it's quite clever, really. Make sure it's dry before you do that, though. There you go. feels nice now as well smoother that's that bit done so let's have a look okay then I thought I'd go to the other side of this page because I found I didn't so this needs covering up because I find it out of focus and it's a lot, it does annoy me a little bit so I need need to cover that up there okay so what I've got I've got one of my tea stained window envelopes which at first I thought oh it's going to be too big you know and then I was going to cut out this piece here like that and use it as a window and then I remembered about folding them up that Yvonne Preston, even Pre Yvonne Preston does and she folds them up so I thought oh I wonder if that works so we can just manage that with still seeing the window so we've got a little pocket here and we still have a window there and then that will cover that up but i open them up i know they get a tiny bit damaged but it doesn't matter all right because what i want to do is cover that up okay so when it's in there and there's nothing in the pocket i, I just i don't want to see this so i found some paper that i've, that I've sort of been using you know that one there Okay, it's very old, like I said before. And this is the cutoff from doing the jelly bean pockets. So that, I think, what I want to do is make sure that fits the pocket. And then I've got a bit left of that. So, and that, so I'll just go the other way, Andrew. Do that. Because okay, that's quite tatty that way. So um, we will cover that over. Yeah, so that's fine. I'll just measure that and mark it while I'm here and that'll be plenty to go in the back of that window there so that there let's go and cut that a moment right come back again I'll just measure that way and cut that piece down yeah about two inches just make sure that fits in there So, yeah, that'll fit there nicely, and then I'm going to stick that on the back to cover those words up, so which I will do first. Right, you don't need to ink that because you're not going to see it. 
God, we're having such glorious weather for feast week. It usually rains, but we still enjoy it even when it rains. Far too much glue again. Yeah, just spread that around so we've got no lumps. Then we can glue the envelope back together again. Uh, make sure that's over there. So there you see what I mean? So that's covered that. And even if you, because um, I'm not going to glue the top there, I'm just going to glue that one shut, which I'll do that now. And then that leaves a pocket to put something in. Glue that one down. Like so. Like so. And then we want to glue that, do we? Glue this side down. Like so. And then glue that shut. There. I know we've already got a bit of a fold there already, but it, it won't matter, it won't matter at all. But I'm going to ink up the edges of that envelope. Like again, like I said before, I always start off with the, the lightest colour, because we can always add. done too because we can't get to this bit so you can cut this one now So many times I forget to ink it up and I have to go around after. hold it slightly away from me right. if I decorate the top a little bit I'll make sure it's fairly level down the bottom all right some this you know you can put some lace or something up on top there so which I'm gonna do because it's a little bit uneven I think I'm going to put that on there as well just on the side of me, which that's better that way. And then that'll cover up that top as well. Just dot around the glue around that area there, so it's going to go in here and then you've got I'm going to glue this one right down because you've got a pocket here and you've got a pocket there so there's plenty enough and you know the book's coming on it's getting thicker so, so I'm going to glue all this one down actually I might just sew around it first so which I will go and do okay well I've sewed all around it and except for the top and use, decided to use a hole punch and just put a circle, you know, half circle there to let people know it is a pocket or let me know. 
but that's how I like it normally anyway so because the odd shape of the envelope sort of overlapped it a bit actually which really in theory I should have checked that first and maybe cut that straight okay and then then put the circle there but that that's fine for me you know this is my journal so I'm, and I've decided what I'm going to do because I, I know they should be rotating and things like this and because I don't do it what I'm actually going to do when I've finished it I'm going to go on the internet and print out my favorite quotes and I'm going to dot them around around the, the journal so I mean I use quotes anyway but I'm going to add my personal touch to it by adding my favorite quotes the ones that mean something to me and then the book in the end will mean something just to me because I'm going to keep this one right let's glue that down like I said I'm going to glue the whole thing down but you can do the three sides and leave another pocket at the back if you so wish but I've got quite a few pockets going on in this one so don't need it really make sure you go over the stitching when you um you've stitched it because it raises it up a bit so that needs to have glue on it all right, let's come down to the bottom here. A little space at the top for this one. Okay, that's quite straight. And then give it a good stick. In theory, I would have liked that, this paper over here, but I haven't got any left. So I use something that still coordinates with it, but different. I might have some actually, but I can't find it. It's in one of those places that I've put it away, safekeeping, I suppose. <laughs> that we all got, <laughs> we find years later. I'm actually going to change my craft studio again. Well, we've got half of it, as you know, when I showed you um, a video 12 months ago, that my daughter has her ballet mat here and her ballet bar. Well, she's not using it because she's um, she does ballet what four four times a week, anyway. And the other time she you know spends with friends and things like that. So she's not sort of working in here. So we decided she doesn't know yet. I've got to tell her yet that we're not going to. Um, I'm going to take the mat mat up and then paint the floor, and I'm going to have the whole thing shelved out. And I'm also going to have a station that I can stand at because. I think that helps you working when you stand up, if you can. You know, I know there's people out there that most probably can't, so. Right, that's it. So all we've got to do now is we've got to make a tag to go in here and say something here. And I think we need a little bit of lace or something, or perhaps a bit of that that I've used on that side will look nice here. Okay, I've got a bit of lace. It's not quite the same, but it's near enough. So what I'm going to do here is, I've got a little bit of music paper that I found in my little box. And one, of course, one of the butterflies that we punched out earlier. And one of the knots we made out of the bits of jute that we cut off. So that will go there, I think. I'll put the paper on first, I think. I've got to be so careful with this glue in the heat. It does bubble out sometimes. It's waste so much I'm putting that there just down a bit I think I didn't mind the glue at the top because I'm sticking lace on there so and there is the lace Oops. and a butterfly Think the butterfly of course but this is usually better with hot glue so I will try and stick it down but it's better definitely better with hot glue that sort of thing just use one of the knots there yeah I don't think that will stick okay 
and I hope that dries clear. If it doesn't, then we're going to put another little bit of glue, a little bit of lace over the top of that. That doesn't show because at the moment it's just seeping through a little bit. So if that does happen, don't panic. We just use something to cover it up, like this little thing here that I said about earlier. Where? So I'll cut that out now. I was going to actually going to put a word. I'm going to put a word along here though. So. I don't want one here as well, so I'll cut that out, and that will cover bits of glue that seep through. This looks like just like stitching, so straighter would be better. Hasn't stuck yet, so I'm going to do that now. It might most probably dry okay, but just in case it doesn't, this is what you do. Oh, doesn't matter, it don't reach all the way. Butterfly is going to hide some of that. There we go. That's stuck on there now, look. Okay. I mean, sometimes even if you, you go back through your journal and you see that, you know, you, you change it. You know, it's surprising what you can peel off. <laughs> there we go. And that's covered that glue up. There we go, and that's it. So I'm going to put some words here. I found ones I've typed on to Vella. Um, I like nature's beauty as a gift. I don't know how many times I've used that though, because it is one of my favourites. We will use it then. I'm not using all the whole verse, the whole saying, just a bit of it. Yeah, and then so we just got to put a tag in there, but it still looks nice without a tag in. Okay, so that's that bit done. So on to the next one, and it's covered the page that I don't particularly like. And we must do something here because we've got to add some colour and everything. I'll put that there because I'm going to do. I'm not sure what I'm doing there yet, but I'm putting that there until I'm happy. Till I um, find something that makes me happy. So just leave that there. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, what I've decided um, to do with this is because it's got um, Cornwall Healthcare Trust on here. I thought we would um, cover that up as well with some of this paper here because I've still got some. So put some here. So I thought we'd cut that down and just stick that over those words, and then you've got a nice journaling spot here. Which I will do now, which I think oh, it's a look for measurement. One and a just over one and a half will do that. Okay, mm -hmm. so 
done that. Just ink up the edges again. Hold on a minute. Just need more on there. I must re-ink my um, tea stain one. It's drying out a little bit. I've had it quite a while now. Just make sure it fits So I put the glue on. Yes, that's all. Just adds a bit of interest to the inside of the page as well and covering up the words. Don't really need to see those. do that and then maybe add a something all the way down there as well not just keep it as it is and that that's better and again that's it gives it strength strengthens up the flat too for when you're turning so and then you've still got nice places to write here if you're a writer <laughs> unlike me